I was born in Romania. My father had a store. My mother was a German teacher. She was teaching Jewish children in Bistrica. I don't know if he was rich or not. We never talked about money. We live in the Northeast. I'm Bobby. My name is Bella Pinkasova. A lot of people know me as Isabella. This is my little girl, Sarah. She's only 16 months old. We had a good life till Hitler came. Just I was in Auschwitz. And was very sad I lost my mother the first day. After Auschwitz, I worked in Germany in a factory. An old guy, he was so sweet. He told me, Rita, you have an apple? Go in the ladies' room and eat while I don't want the SS to see I gave you an apple. Bobby got sick with um, chronic Lyme disease. I was getting colds and headaches and I couldn't really see that well. After a while of this, it got worse and I eventually couldn't walk. I would have to carry him up and down the steps. Um, he was in a wheelchair. He also had a feeding tube for a while. We were told that it's psychiatric and get him to a psychiatric hospital. Because back in Russia, we were not allowed to be going to the synagogues or anything like that. But my, my father tried to teach us about what's Jewish. Every Friday, we had a Shabbat dinner. And that's what it was, family, family. That's what the Jewish was for me, family. Sarah was born 16 months ago. I had a perfect pregnancy. I delivered her on the due day when the doctor told me that I will have her. And 10 hours later, she had a seizure. Her liver doesn't uh, have an enzyme to store the sugar as energy. And it took, unfortunately, two months to diagnose her. One doctor actually came and said, you only have 10 years with her, so enjoy it. I really, I, I was really upset. I didn't even know I'm gonna bring the child home. I didn't open the shades at all. I cried on that little couch every single day. I locked the bedroom door of her nursery. I couldn't even go there. I was afraid to get attached to my daughter. And to be honest, I'm lucky I'm in the United States. You know, I don't have money. I donate clothes, I donate everything that I can for the American veterans. Thanks to them, I am alive. Luckily, Somebody told me about um, Dr. in Florida. When he called me up and the first thing he said, I want you to look at your baby and I want you to realize that your child is going to live a long life. <laughs> and I swear to God, ever since I talked to him, I actually stopped crying. I actually started looking at my child and I really start appreciating having a child because I stopped getting scared of losing her. We were amazed when we first saw him being able to walk. The kid you see here <laughs> is not the kid you would have seen three years ago. If this year I should be getting my black belt in um, Krav Maga. It's uh, the Israeli self-defense that's uh, normally used in um, the military. I'm 88 years old and I worked so hard and I learned English. I speak six languages. You know, in the JCC, when they have the people, the old people, when I come in, Rita, Rita, they kiss me. And some they are married, some they are single. You are single. I didn't know you are single. <laughs> I am single. She actually is one of the best things ever happened to me. Despite all of the challenge I go through, by looking at her, you will never know she has anything wrong with her. Look at her face, she's happy. We're, we're a middle class family, but uh, like a whole lot of other middle class families, we have our tough times. And, um, you know, we appreciate what the community has done for us. And, um, you know, uh, we all want to give back to the community. It's, uh, I guess you could say it's a kind of sharing situation. Ever since the, I got introduced to GRA, it's actually helped me out with uh, food-wise for myself because 
they bring like really good quality food. First, I didn't know what this GRE. I didn't know. And I don't know who recommended them to me. I don't know. I called them up in tears and they said, don't worry, you'll get a box every six weeks. It's very important not to feel left alone. I don't ask a lot of help from people because I feel kind of weird because I never did that. But I actually learned from GRA and I learned from my community that it's actually not that bad to ask for help when you need it. They provided a suit for Bobby's Bar Mitzvah. We were having a, a leak in the sink and they sent that plum over and it fixed it. It brings tears to my eyes knowing that uh, the, the Jewish community is we, we supporting each other. We can, we can help each other in a, in, a, in a time of need. Thank you.